Hello everybody, Sanier, Engineer, MBA and Investor and in today's video I want to talk about editors losing, losing their Chief Medical Officer yesterday. That was news yesterday but I want to cover that in today's video. Now before we jump into today's video, you guys know the drill, you guys know exactly what I'll ask you. Like this video, smash the like button, destroy that like button guys if you're not subscribed yet please consider subscribing and then hit the notification bell for our videos to get to you faster. So Editas lost their chief medical officer, right? Their CMO. This was released yesterday evening. We got this news, but actually CRISPR Tommy was the first one on YouTube to cover this news. So shout out to CRISPR Tommy. Um, basically, Lisa Michaels employment was terminated effective immediately and the basis of her termination was not provided but Michaels will receive a severance package that includes 12 months of her base salary as well as the con company's contribution to the cost of continuing her health care benefits right and if we take a look at the SEC filing this is the official filing that every company has to disclose when such position executive leaves the company and it is unfortunate. I think Editas had something going late summer last year. I think late summer last year, early fall, I think a lot of things were going right for them, but then their data came in and it just didn't really, you know, impress investors. The data that we've covered in this channel, if you take a look at our video catalog, you'll see us covering Editas, uh, that data set that they release. And although it was safe, the part about efficient was not necessarily proven from the data set that they released. And for that alone, that reason alone, the company stock went down. And I think for us seeing this type of news sort of solidifies the thesis that perhaps there was some, uh, some, some internal combustion, some internal issues based on that data set because not only their stock price tanked, um, but also they sort of disappointed investors and I'm sure the board of directors and the rest of the leadership were expecting more from this company, especially, especially since uh, the last three years they've lost CEOs, their leadership has been unstable and yesterday's news sort of solidified that thesis once more. And actually this is a great segue into the next topic that I want to address really briefly is that I think a lot of time investors we underestimate the power of leadership. We underestimate leadership of companies. We underestimate how important it is to have a continuous, a continuous mature leadership within a company. And especially a company that has no FDA approved product, has no commercial product. The last thing you want is to be switching your CEOs, your CMOs on a continuous basis. You need leadership. We saw CRISPR Therapeutics lose Tony, they're, uh, they're one of their high VPs in their R&D branch. And that I covered in December 2021. That was released, this, that press release, and I covered that in a video. And I'll say it again, it is never a good thing to see these types of companies lo lose their leadership. But more specifically for Editas, it is definitely not good because we thought that we were past their, their turbulent time of, um, of losing leadership. But obviously from yesterday's news, this is still the case for this company. Whether or not this company is having internal issues or not, this is not for me to judge at this point in this video, but I do wanna reinforce the importance of leadership. There is a reason why Antelia Therapeutics is the leader of CRISPR companies in terms of market cap, right? There is a reason why, because they have the leadership. You know, Leonard is a leader. He has led this team at Antelia to execute, right? You get the job done. That is the quote I often mention. And I think Antelia did exactly that the past year. And I think honestly, I know, you know, it's never a good thing to see this, regardless of which company you're supporting, because you know, you want this type of stability uh, in these types of companies. But the biggest winner here in, in this from this news, in my opinion, is Antelia, Antelia Therapeutics, because because it reinforces the importance of leadership. It, re it reinforces the importance of getting the job done and you cannot do that if you're gonna be switching 
executives or CEOs every year. That is my opinion. Let me know in the comments what you guys think in the comments below. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Again, like this video if you found value from it. Subscribe if you've not, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.